Hello, I'm Green. And I'm Purple. And welcome back to Green and Purple. This is the finale of SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. We're now the... we're going to the oil rig. Yes, the oil rig. Oil rig. We live in Oklahoma, so we see quite a few oil rigs. Yeah. Now, I told Austin, this is the penultimate stage. Um, it's really hard. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ow. Can I not go this way? Or does that not hurt me? That is, that's just an effect. Okay. It looks like it would hurt me. Yeah, you would think, but that doesn't do anything. Dang it's just it. there for... Oh, is that instant death? Yeah, the fires are instant kill. Well, I guess we figured it out. Yeah. Like, like I said before, I, I mean, I'm telling you, this stage is hard. Ooh. That's why I'm telling you guys, if you're gonna do the um, 100, or try and get more than 70 spatulas, do it on the first stage, because it's... I mean, it's just downhill from there. Yeah. Well, I mean, downhill in terms of your chances of actually getting all the spatulas you need. Yeah. Where do I go from here? Just wait, there's a platform. There you go. This music doesn't seem fitting for an oil rig. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Destroying the environment. Oh god, that almost ended up poorly. <laughs> There's Man Ray. And if you ride it up to the top, there's Man Ray again. <laughs> this is Man Ray. You have your gun. Wait, what was, uh, wasn't the last one Man Ray's Lair? Yeah. What, was there even any... I thought that it'd, like, lead up to, like, a confrontation with Man Ray or something. Yeah, like, no, that's, yeah, that's, Ray. that's what I'm saying. Like, that's the, that's the theory. That's why people think something happened. Man Ray was supposed to be the final boss, but something happened in development to where they... Like, Man Ray's Lair would probably have been the final stage. He doesn't also, like, to kind of, like, go off that, he doesn't really have a death animation. Yeah. He just kind of, like, falls over. You're yeah, like everyone else. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I... Mm. Was that it? Was that I all our lives? So. Do we have any continue? We have three. Oh, it resets our continues. So we probably won't ever know how what. Luke, yeah, what happened? I mean, I hope we don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably jinx it right there if this episode's like half an hour long. You know? <laughs> Guys, don't cheat. Don't look at the timeline. Don't don't look at the one thing that's right in front of the video whenever you <laughs> click it. <laughs> well, no. You won't be able to watch the video after that. It'll just give you an error message. If you're not hearing this right now because there's an error message, then we. That's why. But you won't know that because you won't be able to see this. It's kind of a fallacy. Oh well. A Anyways, a logical fallacy. I'll say it right this time. <laughs> I forget. I'm too used to going fast and dirty and just running through everything. <laughs> I can't do that now. I can't use my tactic. My yeah, tactic you have to beat. play. You have to play the, my way. <laughs> As you, if you guys don't know, um. You can, I mean, I guess you can definitely, you can definitely see it in how Austin and I play. Mm -hmm. um, Austin's a lot more uh, gung-ho and just uh, gotta go fast. Mm -hmm. And throw... the only thing is, like, I'm not, like, an impatient person. Like, I'm a fairly patient person. But I just like going quickly. Yeah, and then for me, I'm the complete opposite. I like taking my time and thinking about my next move and stuff like that. No. Nah. I like doing things fast. Which I have nothing like if that's I mean I have nothing against Austin Oh, you're gonna go in that pipe. Um it's nothing against Austin. Like I am not saying like his way is stupid, because that's, that's just saying, that's just it? a personal way that we play games. It's just interesting. Yeah. I just find it interesting that, you know, we different play style. Yeah. It's a different way of thinking. I also feel like it might have to do with the fact that um I play a lot more Mm, I don't, what's the right? I'm trying to figure out the right word for it. Games that that's not true. I don't know. No, I should probably go get that checkpoint. I really don't know how to describe this, but because I because I, the one the thing that the thing that comes to my head is that I play more care mm -hmm. games that require care for consideration and what you do. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I don't know. I feel like that's not right. Yeah, I mean, it's just we definitely do play different. Games. Like, there's definitely times... Like, I mean, obviously, the games we play on here are usually games mm -hmm. that we both enjoy. Did we... Oh, I did it. Yeah. Sweet. Um, but outside of that, there's quite a bit of games that each of us, like, play hey. that the other one doesn't. 
Where's the final bonus stage? Why isn't it there? Hold on. Let me is, check. Is there something. not a final one? There should be. What are you checking here? I'm just finishing this real quick so I can get to the store. Oh. Uh -huh. Are you just gonna see if we can buy everything with what we have now? I don't think we can. I'm pretty sure. Because, well, there's this. And there's this. And there's that. And there's this. And there's that. And that. And that. See? We don't have enough. There should be one more. Maybe we have to finish the final stage and then it'll unlock. That's weird. Or maybe we have to get 80 spatulas again. That doesn't make sense. I don't know. I don't know. I'm. Oh, I'll, I'll just play the final state. I don't know why, guys. I'm sorry. Well, what does it actually do for us to get all the stuff? Maybe? Nothing. Nothing. It's just gloating rights. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> we'll continue on. Maybe we have to get a hundred things on the final one. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, I'll look it up. Anyway, the final stage is the canning factory. Oh no. You end up in can of mayonnaise. He says jar of mayonnaise, but then it like. Isn't Patrick in just, like, a can at the end or something? Yeah. By the way, this music, uh... Doesn't sound like final level music. Yeah, it, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Further proof that this wasn't originally the final level. Right, thing. like, Man Ray's Lair, I, I think, was supposed to be the final... Oh, that's instant death. Well, it's just like, uh... That theory about Butterfree and uh, Venomoth, where it's like... There's so much supporting it that, at this point, it's pretty much just considered... Right. ...what happened. By the way, guys, this stage... It's the final stage. It's hard. There's so <laughs> many instant deaths here. This is whenever the accordion player just got crazy. <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> I love playing the accordion. I've always wanted to learn how to play the accordion. It'd be an interesting instrument. I mean, you know, it, it's got keys like a piano, so... Mm -hmm. But you gotta... You gotta... Squeeze it and pull it and all that. <laughs> I like squeezing. And I like squeezing. <laughs> Those are my two favorite adjectives. <laughs> or verbs or whatever they are. <laughs> I was like, that's not right. <laughs> whatever. I like squeezing and pulling, not... Grammar. Yeah, this music is just so... It's not. <laughs> like, it's good. I like it. If you were playing this level for the first time, you'd probably think, like, oh, there's probably eight worlds or something, like a normal platform from this time. So this can't be the last one, especially not with this music. And you'd be, you're like, oh. Ouch. Okay, those aren't instant death. You just take all your, sp your spatulas. Well, that's yeah, yeah. everything. Um, that's instant death. Do, 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 do. Oh god. Um, another thing I want to say is, oh Austin, if you had to guess, well, who do you think the final boss is? Uh, the Dirty Bubble? No. Um... I'll just tell you right now, you're never- Is it Plankton? You're never gonna get it. Is it anyone from the show? No. It's just a made-up person? Yes. You would think, like, I get that some of- Most That's of the bosses- why... Most of the bosses haven't been- but they feel they feel like they fit in yeah. like the mother jellyfish, the sub shark. That makes sense. Um, the parasitic worm makes sense, and um, the flying Dutchman definitely makes sense. Yeah. But this last final boss, it makes no sense <laughs> because it was supposed to be Man Ray. Yeah. You see, that thing is a little off. Is it? Look at it. Whenever it comes down. Oh, it is. It's not. <laughs> it did not get it right. <laughs> oh, oh, crap. Ah, shoot. Okay, we're, we're there. Oh, is this the final boss? Yeah. Iron Dogfish? Yeah. Who's Iron Dogfish? <laughs> um, we've heard about this thing, but never really seen one ourselves. Whoever heard of a dog living underwater anyway? I'd sooner expect to see a squirrel doing karate. Okay, that's fun and all, but... Who's Iron Dogfish? I have no idea. What is an Iron Dogfish? I have no idea. Doesn't even look like it's from Spongebob. Yeah. That looks like the developers were working on another game at the time, and they're like, ah, just put him in the Spongebob game. It's Iron Dogfish. So what you're supposed to do is step on these things and freeze him, uh -huh. and then hit him. 
Can you not hit him whenever he's moving? No. Oh. I see. He doesn't seem too hard, but I'm. Does he, like, change his tactics or something? Yeah, he starts, like, shooting laser beams at you. Oh. Well, I mean, that would definitely make it harder. Anytime you add lasers in the mix, it, ch it changes everything. Ooh. I know you guys can't really hear it. Oh, yeah, they are right there. Hmm. He should use laser beams. I know oh. you guys can't hear it, but this boss music is. <laughs> it's hilarious. What is. Hold Here, on. let me see if I can hear it. Yeah, this definitely sounds like Final Boss. <laughs> 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 sounds, sounds like the final climactic battle against Iron Dogfish. <laughs> You remember that episode of Spongebob where he has to <laughs> defeat Iron Dogfish to save his friends and family? <laughs> that was my favorite episode. Remember, like, the Spongebob TV movies they tried to do after the actual Spongebob movie? Yeah. Like, Atlanta Square Pantis and all yeah. those. Those kind of sucked. Yeah. Ah, they God. weren't great. Like, Atlanta Square Pantis was just kind of weird. But that was just, like, a lot of Spongebob after the movie. Yep. It's just like, why? This isn't funny. Yeah. This is just. Oh no, Iron Dogfish! How could you, Caitlin? He was such a beautiful creature. He was iron and a dog and a fish. <laughs> I like the song, though. <laughs> SpongeBob limits his celebration time to exactly three and a half seconds. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's that's a weird. Yeah, that's def like Man Ray has to have yeah. been the original. The thing, weird thing is, I don't know why they he wouldn't be. Like, I would think maybe like, oh, they couldn't get his voice actor, but they couldn't get Crab's voice actor no. either, and they got him in the game. What he is? never calls him SB. SB. <laughs> no one's ever like, yo, what up, SB? <laughs> Sponge bitch. <laughs> what the hell is a f iron dogfish, anyway? I don't know. So, Spongebob didn't fix the TV. I don't think Mermaid Man would get that mad. I'm gonna wring his neck and rip his eyes out! <laughs> oh, this is... I this love one? this ending This ending cutscene because you get a different... Because it's gonna take a picture at the end of it, and you, you always get a different picture each time, just depending on when you finish it. Oh, really? And some, one time I did it when, when I was playing with Lavender. Uh -huh. um, I got it to where... Squidward was like staring dead center at the screen. Oh, no, no. It looks like he was. He's like, he he's like, saw you. I am going to end you all. So I'll see if I can get it. I will come from the other dimension. I guess it's all right. <laughs> Yeah, by the way, everything that you're seeing here, the balloons, the sandwiches, that stuff. Is that the stuff you bought? Yeah, that's the stuff you bought. This stuff doesn't show up if you didn't buy <laughs> so it. So you didn't buy it, it's just him with yeah. a piece of paper. Right, really, if you don't buy anything, then there's, like, nothing here. <laughs> it's just <laughs> empty. Nice. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, that's definitely not him. They cut I, him I, off. I, I, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we need. There's no way Plankton would show up to no. Patrick's birthday. There's also no way he, Plankton's like a third of the height of Spongebob. <laughs> Look at him. He's kind of derpy looking down there. <laughs> Look at little Plankton. <laughs> Mr. I mean, imitation crabs. <laughs> imitation crabs. Squidward wouldn't, wouldn't be that happy about it. Like, he might come. Yeah. But he wouldn't be that excited to be there. Okay, let me see if I can get this. Oh. Oh my god, Patrick the Pirate's like in the room now. Yeah. Wait. No, I didn't. Now he get just it. he just has his mouth open. And <laughs> Barnacle Boy Mermaid was like, oh, I'm so poor. Uh, <laughs> what have you got him like all blinking at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> just like... 
Hey, we did it! Yeah, don't worry, guys. I'm gonna go back and check real quick and see if the stage does open after you beat the. You have to beat the world. I don't That's know. That's weird if it, that is the. Full motion video? There wasn't any full motion <laughs> video in it? There wasn't no actor in a SpongeBob suit walking around? <laughs> What are you talking about? That guy didn't do anything. They just put his name on it. So, so far, I mean, Austin, what, what do you think about this? I liked it. I think it had its quirks, but it was fun overall. I think it was it was a good good licensed game. I enjoyed it. I would, If I had to give it a score, are we still doing out of five? Yeah. The way you want to change it? Let's do ten. Yeah, let's do... I, can't, I feel like five is too restrictive. Because five is like three. I've, three is... Consider like dead center, but yeah. it's like uh, if we're doing out of ten, I'll give it. Oh, sponges! I'll give it. No, iron dog fishes. Iron dog fishes. Yes. I will give it. I'll give it seven out of ten. Iron dog fishes. <laughs> awesome. I'll give it. Um. Honestly, my I feel like my score is going to be higher because yeah, it, you have it, nostalgia with it too. Yeah. Um. I actually would give this game like a nine out of ten. Do iron dog fishes. Fair enough. So let's go and check real quick. I will say in terms of like if we're going to like a 1 to 10 scale or whatever. Yeah. Like, you, okay, let's see. Like, on, I feel like Metacritic or like just reviews in general have made people like misunderstand like what a, how, like what a good score is. Yeah. Because if see, someone sees something that has like a 70 out of 100 average, I'm everyone's like, oh, there. that game sucks. That, is there not one? I I have no idea. I didn't. feel like there should because there's 25 left and that's how many show yeah. up in the tent. But I got 85 here, but it's just not there. So I have no idea. You did it before? I can't. Yeah, I feel like I have. Yeah, I have. Maybe you have to get like 100 on one, or like maybe you have to get 80 on like more than one. Uh, maybe, maybe. It just doesn't feel right. That's weird. Oh, well, if you guys know. Then you know, let us know in the comments, and I'll come back to this, and yeah. and, and I'll I'll take some time off and try and mess around with this and see if I can figure out how to get that tent to pop up. And if I can figure it out, then um, Austin and I will record like an extra, and we'll get yeah. it in for you guys. But I mean, not a huge, huge it's deal. It's not since big, we don't like, unlock anything. Trust me, guys, it doesn't do anything. It just adds more stuff to the ending cutscene. That's all it does, mm -hmm. and it's it's a gloating rights. So. Yeah. Well, anyways, right before we leave, I was just saying, like, if someone sees, like, a 70 out of 100, everyone's like, oh, that game sucks. Yeah. But, like, I think 7 is, like, good. Because like, that's average. Yeah, I think, like, for me at least, like, if a game's, like, a 10, obviously, I'm like, oh, this game is, like, everyone needs to play it. Right. If it's 9, I think, like, everyone really should play it, like, it, you know, it's a really great game. Right. If it's 8, I'd say, like, it's still, like, a great game, like, go and play it, it's a lot of fun. Seven is just, I would say, like, still really good, like, um, like, definitely worth playing. Mm -hmm. And then six is whenever you get into, like, six is like, okay, well, you know, if you can get it on sale or, like, if you just really like this type of game, then, like, go for it. Right. And then, like, five and below is whenever you get into the territory, like, okay, you really have to, like, like this genre or like this series to warrant, like, purchasing it until right. it gets to one where it's like, just don't buy it. Don't. Like, the janitor's a one. <laughs> oh, you're giving it a one? I'll give it a one. I would give the gender like a, z a point five. I'm not going lower than one. I'll cap it at one. Okay. Oh, we can't go lower than one. Uh you can. It oh, is okay. Perfectly fine. I would give the gender a point five. I'm saying like the lowest all goes one. And I'll give it a one. Okay. Like I, I feel like we've kind of run the whole gambit as so far like this first year of shows. Like we played Journey, which I think is like that easily a ten, mm -hmm. and we've played. Janitor, which is easily like a one, yeah. And then we've kind of, I In think most of most of them we've skewed towards yeah. the higher end because we try to play games that we really enjoy. Right. The only situation where we got into games that we didn't like was like with Sonic Six and uh, the Halloween games. Some of the Halloween games. And No More Heroes wasn't exactly your favorite game. Yeah, No More Heroes was not. I feel like that would probably be like three and four range out of. Because it, it was like a two and a half on like the five scale, right? Yeah, I would. I'll give. Yeah, I'll give it like a. Probably still like a two and a half, two point five out mm -hmm. of ten. Yeah, I mean that just really wasn't Caleb's game. It was not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Which I mean is you know like I say I'm sorry, but at the same time I'm not sorry because it's my opinion. So 
Well, uh, th- these scale, these scores are pretty arbitrary. It's just us right, trying not... to give like a basic, like, okay, what did we think of the this game? Is, in, yeah, this is how general. we feel about it. Okay, cool. we're not anything special. We're not review critics or anything like that. So and don't... even they aren't special. So. Right. But, like, we're not sitting down to try and write a review. Like, if you sat down and actually tried to quantify everything, you're, you know, you either maybe your score goes up a little bit because you start thinking, you're like, okay, there were more redeeming qualities than right. I thought. Or maybe it goes down a little bit because you're like, okay, well, this game actually had quite a few problems. But this is just basically our gut reactions after everything. Like, hey, we had, you know, fun with this game, so yeah. we'll give it this and stuff like that. Personally, like, for me, like, I really liked this game, but I'll give it a 7 just because, like, for me, I thought it had, like, a couple, like, control quirks mm-hmm. and, like, um, just, like, a few odd areas where, it, like, the music, like, didn't quite match up with, like, what the level was. Which isn't anything, like, against the game. That's just, like, I thought it was a lot of fun. I think, as far as licensed games go, I prefer uh, Scooby-Doo. But, again, that was what I grew up with. And Caleb grew up with this yeah. as well. So the whole nostalgia thing plays in, too. And I'll even say, to, like, go show you guys that I'm not... Like, I can understand issues in the game. One gripe that I have about this game is um, some of the em- enemy placement is uh, kind of jerkish. Kind of a, yeah. It's kind of jerkish. Um, low, like, kicking the nuts. It's like, hey, that's not cool, man. Mm-hmm. And, uh... But overall, like, I think it's really fun. I think, I mean, at this point in time, you could probably get it for, like, dirt cheap. So, like... Yeah. If you're a SpongeBob fan, if you're a fan of old-school platformers, like, definitely give it a shot. Like, we had a lot of fun. I think there's a Game Boy Advance version of it. No. Is, there, is it a bad version? I don't know what's wrong with the Game Boy Advance version. Is it just bad? Don't do it. Okay, don't get the Game Boy Advance version. <laughs> get the PlayStation version. Get the PS1 version. That's yes. what we're playing. Okie okay, doke. Um, whenever we come back, we'll be playing something else to uh, end out, end out uh, the first season of Green Purple. Yeah. Bye, everybody. See ya.